one of the things that any dial indicator system will show you is if you install the dial indicator with the pointer against the blade and you rotate, that shows you the total amount of run out, the amount of wobble that you have in the blade. What the other systems on, in the country won't do is let you determine whether that run out is caused by your blade, your arbor, or a combination of both. The special spring and nut that's included in with the deluxe kit actually has its own patent and makes the Align at Deluxe the only kit in the United States that you can use to determine whether the run out is in your blade or your arbor or both. Now what we're going to do, just to show you how that works, I'm going to take the blade nut off. Okay. We're going to leave the washer on. The spring inserts into the nut and what we're going to do, make sure your nylon thumb screws are backed out and you actually go in there and you compress that spring, see how we're doing that, right down on that arbor shaft and then you lock this down. Now hopefully you'll understand why we use nylon lock nuts, just so you can't mess up your arbor. That spring has enough pressure, I don't know whether you can see this on camera, but we've got enough pressure there to keep us forced against the arbor flange in that spring, but since we're not physically locked down, what we can do is we can either hold the arbor and rotate the blade. Now this test is going to show us how much run out there is in the saw blade. By the same token, if we stop the rotation of the blade and then come in and turn the arbor, now that dial indicator is going to show me exactly how much run out is caused by the flange of the arbor not being perfectly square to the shaft. This is an extremely nice test to make. You know, if you've got a bad saw blade, there's no way your saw is going to cut right. If you've got a defective arbor, there's no way you're going to cut right. One thing that you can do if you see what you think is an excessive amount of run out is find the high spot on the blade and the low spot on the arbor, put them together, and what that will do is it will minimize the total amount of wobble you see in your saw blade. Another very easy test to make on a table saw is to check the arbor run out and bearing play. What we're going to do is remove the spring and nut and take the blade right off the saw. The radius end of the mounting bar allows us to pivot the indicator downward. So what I'm going to do is basically just free it up. We're going to lower the arbor. We're going to slide the alignment so the tip of the indicator is pretty much centered over the top of the arbor shaft. Now you notice I'm holding that indicator up against the arbor flange, okay, as I lock this because what's going to happen is as I elevate my arbor, okay, and we start making contact, and I'm going to bring, I'm going to use my blade elevation to bring me up to zero. And by doing this, it actually brings the indicator away from the flange. But you do want to make sure that you're not sitting on the threads. The two things we can do in this configuration is number one, we can grab a hold of the arbor shaft and give it a pretty good shake, right? And on my dial indicator, I'm showing about a thousandth and a half to two thousandths maximum play. And that's with me tugging on it. That looks pretty good. Now, the last thing we can do with this is if you walk around the saw and rotate your motor pulley, what's going to happen is it's going to spin the arbor without you making any contact. And this allows you to determine how straight your arbor shaft is. I don't have a half a thousandth of an inch showing on my indicator when I make this test, so I know my arbor's good and my bearings are tight. This is a really nice test for those of you who doubt the quality of your saw, and uh, it's one well worth doing.